Alright, Van Halen, you really got me. Um, I want to apologize first for this. I know this isn't very authentic. I don't have the Jack Daniels bass right up in here. I don't have that, so this PV is going to um, have to suffice. Anyway, I'm Finbar of Finbar Bass. I have some free bass lessons for you right down there in a the little YouTube clicker box. If you want to click on that and get some lessons that aren't on YouTube at all. And um, let's get right on into this one. So the signature riff that you're hearing in that song is going to be played on the fifth fret of the uh, E string. Two hits, one hit on the third and one hit on the fifth. And then back to the third. Just like that. Plays that quite a bit during the song. Throws in a little bit of uh, riffing here and there. <clears throat> a couple riffs, uh, something like... Um, right? Whoops. Uh, just show you that one real quick. What that is, is you're going to be going third, fifth of the E string. And then the uh, third fret of the A string. And then you're just going to hit that off. That's really the important note to, to ring out there, so you can actually hear the bass <laughs> over the guitar. Then you're going to go from the um, third to the fourth of the A string, and then play that octave as well, which is the um, uh, I'm sorry, the fourth fret of the D string. Okay. And then uh, hit the open E, and then back into the third. And then back into it. Um, then when he moves it up, what you're going to do is you're going to hit the uh, fifth of the E, two open, then the third. The third is the longer note, so it's... Right? Then you're going to hit the um, fourth and the fifth, and then to the seventh. And you're going to move it up to the seventh. Um, just like how you were on the fifth. So that climb is just like that. Right? <clears throat> and that's how you get up into the seven, seven, five, seven time. So when you move it up again, you're going to move um, from the seventh and the fifth of the E string up one string to the A string. How you're going to do that is you're going to go from uh, and then you're going to hit the fifth fret of the A string, sixth fret, and then seventh, and then you'll be on the seventh. Right? So it's a little climb involved there. And then when you get up to the um, A string, what you're going to do is you're going to slide that seventh down the seven. Uh, the seventh fret of the A string. Because it adds drama. <clears throat> and then you're going to add the open E into that. Just like that. And then <clears throat> you're going to hold the uh, fifth fret of the uh, A string. This will sound familiar to you. Right before the guitar solo, he plays a little chord there. So he's on the 7th and the 5th of the A, a string. Then you're going to hit two open E's. Right? And then you're going to hit a chord, which is you're going to place your fingers on the 5th uh, fret of the A string and the 7th fret of the uh, D string. Right, a little power chord. When you do a chord, obviously, you're plucking them with your fingers, both, but you're uh, letting both uh, notes ring out. You're hitting them at the same time. Okay? Just like if you're on a guitar. Okay, just to show you another um, fill that he does, this is when you're on the E. Right? And what that is, is you're going to hit the third fret of the E, fifth fret, and then open. 
Then you're going to do these octaves, the first fret and the third, first fret of the A, third fret of the D, then up to the third fret and the fifth fret. And you don't have to hold them, you could play them staccato too. You got me. Sweet. Um, once again, I'm Finbar, Finbar Bass. Please check out my free bass lessons if you want, right down there in the little clicker box. Um, and um, you can always subscribe to my bass channel if you want on YouTube. And as always, have fun with that one.